Hi, happy Monday, and welcome to Torah Today with Javi Rappaport. The Torah is so relevant today as ever. Perspective, perspective can sometimes actually be so deceptive. Do we see the world as it is or as we are? Let's take a look at this fascinating concept of perspective through the story of Yosef in Parshat Vayeshev. Yaakov knew Yosef was the extension of his spiritual destiny. He was the one who was going to complete his mission. And in fact, you know, their lives really paralleled each other so much. Both were born to mothers after many years of being barren. Both had only two children. Both had siblings who hated them and wanted to kill them. Yaakov, Esav, and Yosef, his brothers. Both brothers were shepherds, and both needed to confront evil. Yaakov with Esav, and Yosef with Potiphar's wife, who repeatedly tried to seduce him. Yaakov knows Yosef's true spiritual identity, and he's his beloved son, and so he makes him an exclusive coat of many colors. And he is a proud father. But what about the perspective of his brothers? <laughs> That's another story completely. Yosef is grooming his hair, and his brothers see him as a man of conceit. And what about his dreams that he shares? The sheaves of wheat bowing to his, which is standing upright? The brothers reasoned, this is treason. He is standing up and challenging the king of the tribes, Yehuda, this is unacceptable. He needs to be eliminated. And even more, in the last two generations, there was always one son who was wayward. Think of Yishmael. He needed to be cut off. And then Esav, he needed to be cut off. Yosef was following along just precisely in that direction. Just like Esav, he was so arrogant, he thought he was going to take over the world and dominate all his brothers. They were really threatened by him and very jealous. Imagine, just imagine if they had trusted their father's perspective. The Aviv Shamarat HaDavar, he knew Yosef's destiny, his future as a viceroy. Even though for many years, what he thought he knew was challenged because he thought his son was dead. But if the brothers had trusted his father's perspective and not rushed to judge and assume and be envious, how many years of suffering, of regret, and extreme pain they would have avoided for their father. And so here's our takeaway. So many times in the day, we are confronted with a situation, with a person or people, and we know, oh, I just know why this person said or did what they did or said. What if we just left all the judgment and assessment to God, to Hashem, and we just deal with things in a positive light, in a positive way? Every day when we wake up, we really have a choice. How do I see things, either in a positive or in a negative way, in an optimistic or a pessimistic way? It's our choice. What's your perspective? I choose optimism. And let's be careful that we don't ever get into a rut of thinking, my perspective is the only real perspective. That is the way it is. Have a beautiful day. And let's see what the look, world looks like through the eyes of positivity and never through the eyes of judgment.